nobody in the society wants to be hated or disrespected. Always with a small army, he expects respect from others. But that will occur if only he respects others. It is not a one-way traffic. If only you respect others, then you can have a right or a proper expectation to expect the respect from others. Therefore, let it start from your parents. Introspect to what extent you are respect to your parents, then elderly persons in family and once the culture grows, you will tend to respect everybody. And a person, even if a minister, if he respects others, even when he is young, he will be respected by others, even by elderly people also. That respect may be in the form of reduction or goodwill, that is going very long. Be the best tenet of a, or a human being, a decent being, decent human being is to respect the fellow human being and to treat him with the respect he deserves. Other things, if you have to, any other thing is a woman, you have to pay for it or anything. But respect is something which you can straight away give it without getting any expenditure and it will enhance and improve your personality. And a day will come, you will be respected. But if people know that somebody is arrogant, that arrogance will continue to grow, and you will, nobody will care to respect him and he will be another again. Respect and uh, the humility and the compassion, these characters slowly open up further and add to your existing personality. This is one side of it. If you open up newspapers nowadays, open up any channel, you will come with us, corruption, scams, so many other things. Friends, these things are not that in any college. Nobody will teach anybody. There will not be any specialized course in corruption or dishonesty or doing scams. These occur on account of temptation for easy money. Howsoever learned a person may be, howsoever great one may be, unless he cultivate the habit of being honest, all that will be of rest of the things will be of no use. If you see, analyze the things, whoever are either in jails or in prison and all that, they are excellent, very wise and very, very powerful people. And many of them have the wealth of hundreds of crores, but what has gone from? They were not satisfied with what they were having, they wanted something more. There is no difficult, no, nothing wrong in trying to, or aspiring to add more, but it should be through proper, proper means. It is only lack of culture that instincts for corruption are dishonest in persons. And here we have to Keep in view, if earning money is the end, the means you take, the way you choose to earn money is to be seen as means. Always means are more important than the end. Whatever you do, as no doubt, but it should be through proper means and never go for temptation. Temptation will be very to go for this easy money. And, uh, Unless at this stage itself you think that come part me, I am a under person disadvantage, I am a under person suffering, but I never would resort to corruption or dishonesty. In the future, the temptation will be very much new. Therefore, a firm resolution should be there in you. Wherever I happen to speak on this aspect, I only one standard example which I got, I learned during my student days. Those of you who study the history of India or some geography of this, you may be knowing where is the longest platform in India? So that is it. Google Sarai. 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 Google
when the flat on the about 4 to 5 kilometers. So we are in out of there only. And there is only one flyover to cross the number of lines. Therefore, suppose somebody is a kilometer away from the uh, flyover and if he wants to go to the other side of the line, he may be tempted to go for the crossing line. But for saying goes there in the, in the flyover, do not go for shortcuts, you will be cut short. And so the is symbolical, but in our life also, suppose to get some amount, you may have to take for instance the whether it is a bank, you are an employee in the bank, so much of money is given to you. Even if you struggle for one month, your salary will be for a hardly 10,000 or 20,000. You are in need of some other money, some other more money. Temptation will be there. Why are they just let to do something about this? Class of, from somebody's accounts. The temptation once it is there, he, sometimes he may go scot free. But once it comes, not only he, but his entire family will be suffering the detriment. We see some employees who learn who earn the amount right, left and son irrespective of the means. Children will be very happy. The wife will also be very happy. Today, this month necklace, next time some year starts, third month some diamond necklace, all these are added to children also, some school, the next school, the everything is given. There will be, uh, my dad is very great, he is very kind and uh, they will uh, do respect to everything. But once the dad is called by ACB, where do all these things go? They have to hide their faces from the friends and all others. That's true. And they would, their respect would have been much more without all these things. Nobody asks us why you did not wear a diamond necklace or why you don't have a scooter and why your father did not get it. But if you get it to the objectionable beings, how to hang the head to see. So, therefore, friends, I am saying this Tatra Vipma with you because nowadays the necessities have increased. Money, need of money is more. But at the same time, unless you cultivate the habit of being honest and British or try to learn to live with your own means, temptation will be there. Therefore, whatever be the path of life for you, whether you are in employment, whether you are establishing your own firms and all that, identify honesty as one of the top most principles. Your respect will increase. To other means your wealth may increase for some time, but your respect which you, the respect which you get out of this is much more when compared to the ill-gotten money. Many a time, what happens is, we form an opinion about other person. Because if you, you just have a superficial interaction with him and you say he is arrogant or he is a seller or he is a, a, so many things. We form our own opinion and just act accordingly in, the, in your interaction with him. This may be with your classmate, with your teacher, with your parents, with your neighbor with your fellow employee and all that. Unless you know full facts about him, don't form an opinion. It is not necessary that you should form an opinion about everybody. But once you want to form an opinion and interact or uh, react to him, you do it after you know the things about him. But don't jump to some conclusion on your own uh, uh, understanding of the matter. One small example I will give you, which is uh, given in most of the rotated uh, management books also. How minimal for operate and how minimal operate will be to form opinions. Once in a train, a person, a gentleman with two children is traveling. There are other fellow passengers. The two children were crying. The father was not controlling them. So, uh, being disturbed by the crying of the children, 
the passengers form an opinion that the children are unruly, the father is not willing or incompetent or unable to control them, and they act out of anger. Uh, what is the father? What is the country one that control these children and father uses to the chain? Then the father says, Sorry sir, the children lost their mother just one hour back. I am able to control them and whatever disturbance is happened to the you, I am sorry. How to give you my opinion? You took that the passengers and the passengers felt so bad that they went on asking their apology and how they have been, how inhuman they have been to the two kids who lost their mother and who became ugly. Therefore, before you form an opinion, somebody may somebody may appear to be somewhat ugly or even disturbed, not so ugly or not well dressed. All these things, but unless you know full facts about the man, you don't form an opinion because it is not our business to define as to how the other man will. If that is so, the other man may also have his own opinion about us, and if he says that, he will be no way. Therefore, one of the human values follow is that before you form an opinion about others, be Sure, about the circumstances under which sometimes you may be in a worse position than that. Therefore, don't underestimate anybody's life, give proper respect to everybody's life, it has got its own presence. The only within another five minutes and conclude. We don't uh, feel get bored, don't feel bored and all that. It's a matter of brightness. Dignity of labor. Dignity of labor. Our Indian society is so rich in its culture that we pay respect to everything, whichever is around us. Stone, tree, animal. Water, everything. So much so we have even personified it. And in many cases, worship it also. And no work in this world can be treated as menial, as long as it is done with some dignity and respect. No work in this world is a menial. Only thing is one should do it with the full of attention and the devotion. And if somebody is doing another work, don't underestimate him, don't neglect him. Each work has its own importance in this society. If a sweeper is not there, you may call a sweeper as a, a lowly faced person and a sweeper in the classroom. But imagine a situation, a process which is not swept and then you are there. He is more, he, and on the other hand, he acquires a greater uh, 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 greater importance. He deserves greater importance because he made the princess tidy for you to leave. Every walk of life, farmer, riksha puller, everything, any activity in the society is respectable and you should not underestimate it. Now, about this present generation is uh, slowly losing its courage. In terms of courage, there are, I'm not referring to everybody, but the limit, elements of the courage are not that as if they used to be earlier. Courage is something which we should cultivate our own it and is not something which we can learn from textbooks or other things. Swami Vivekananda, this year we are celebrating 150th year of uh, Swami Vivekananda. They have to have some one or two tenets which is done. About the, the courage and bravery. Because unless you are courageous and brave, you may not be able to withstand such a development in society. The courage one should uh, uh, develop even when somebody is in. 
वन स्वाट असते स्वामी विवेकानंद एक वारणासी वन गोई स्पॉन ले ऑन द वन साइड देर वॉज बॉन ऑन द अदर साइड देर वॉज ले देर वॉर हंड्रेड्स ऑफ मंकीज दॅट अँड एव्हरीबडी वॉज अफ्रेड ऑफ गोई टू दॅट गोई टू दॅट लेन बट दॅट वॉज ओनली वे देर फोर ही वॉज गोई फ्रॉम करेजिनल the monkey started chasing him the monkey sir got hold of the legs and they were crawling in the little man he was running as and how he was running more and more monkeys started chasing him but at the other end there was another person don't run away stand there let us see he stopped running and just stood then all the monkeys ran away same thing you can't do you uh, the on our legs also straight as are there if you run away they will chase you if you stop they will run away right to in the life also don't run away from problems are part of the underground you something which is challenge there accept challenge and face it sometimes the challenge itself will disappear but if you run away from the challenges one of the other they will chase you and you will turn out to be a very miserable person because the big body is the host of all diseases every disease you search for a big body and then the body is strong even the heat and disease will disappear like that not only be physically fit but also very mentally also be brave and be prepared to face any problems after all, it's not human beings who have seen face problems. A story is there, what is this problem? Story is told, it will not face the Bhagavad, it doesn't need any food, it doesn't need employment, it doesn't need any salary, it doesn't need any cosmetics. After all, the human beings are there, you, you are the other. Therefore, you will face problems in a way. It can be from you, from within you, outside you, from society, from your friends, from your school. All those things you should prepare to. And sometimes you may be successful, sometimes you may not be successful. But your failure will be a lesson for you to face the other things. Therefore, friends, I do not intend to go any further. This is the occasion. You are able to step into your new phase of life. With the completion of your course, you will be facing, touching, uh, entering another phase. It may be a real phase. employment and further learning it can be employment or even further learning can be both either way this is the time for you to identify and define for yourself that is norms as an employee how i should be as a citizen how i should be what is my role to build the nation to so not neglect the nation it will only only when your nation is strong you can be a respectable citizen if you forget about the nation and you think that you are uh, around nothing to do with it you will be once again another mistake if i myself identify and always be proud and be confident that you can lead the nation many ways you need not be and today if you are employee tomorrow you are going to be an employer therefore you have all these kind of all these characteristics today you may be son or daughter in a family but tomorrow you are going to be parents or leaders in the society all these things you should be contemplation if you contemplate these things there would not be any problems therefore friends or whatever attention you have paid to what i said i am very thankful to you i don't know how far I have been able to impress you, but at the same, I thank you for the patient hearing, and I thank you. Thank you.
Daniel Sibichaich, Daniel de Cromática. Thank you, sir. Principal PG College, Dr. Veera and Taylor, to present the work of thanks. Proud privilege to present the vote of thanks on this occasion. First of all, I wholeheartedly convey my vote of thanks to Honorable Justice Sri Narsimha Reddy Garu, Justice of High Court of Anand Pradesh, for presenting a lecture on ethical values as well as morals and well as well as the career development of the student friends. I stress all the points with regard to the career of the students, the family relationship, the compassionate doubts of the student friends, corruption, scams, dishonest, ill-gotten money, estimating others, dignity of labor, and also facing the problems. All these aspects will definitely help the student friends to have more and more knowledge. Sir, we are very much thankful to you, sir, for giving a wonderful lecture, sir. You have come all the way from Hyderabad to present this one. I am here for our assistant, Tate and Ecologists, and I am here for myself. I will present my vote of thanks for all our time. Thank you, sir. Kale, that is NIT. It was an excellent quotation there. You know, the badminton, world badminton champion was Park Crash. Hard cash, hard cash, hard cash. Saying is, you may not do hard cash, but you are not at trash. So everybody need not be a champion, but at the same time, you need not uh, feel sulky because you are not a champion. You are champion in your own way. So you need not, even if you are not class first, you are in your own way, a spirit of material rescue. Please maintain it. Thank you.